step one is to push this carriage bolt through the pre-drilled hole, just as a bare bolt. Carriage bolt has that square area underneath it so that when you pull it tight into the wood, it locks it into the wood and it won't spin, providing you don't over tighten it. So you push that through the pre-drilled hole you see how it sticks out just a little bit right there. Put this on this side, washer, and a nut. Then tighten this down. And hold it a little bit at first so it doesn't move. But once it gets into the wood, it'll stay. See how it pulls it in tight? That will lock it in for you. Okay, now that you've done that, you can take this nut off and the bolt will stay. If you loosen it up enough, which I didn't, it'll just spin right off. Okay, and we're gonna leave the washer on there because that's gonna act as a bushing. Just a little area for it just to glide on. So mount this through, oops. Hold it upside down, that helps. Here, like that. Wiggle a little bit. And you see how that washer acts as a little space between there so the wood won't bind on itself. And then we will proceed to take the rest of this assembly and put it together. The next thing is another washer right here. <clears throat> Once again, just to act as a pushing a little spot for that nut to go on without squishing into the wood. Tighten that up a little bit. And then we put the other nut on there. It's a double nut assembly. It's an old trick. If I had bothered to bring another wrench. So what you do is you take that nut on the inside and turn it out towards the other one. And you make sure that they're both bound onto each other. And instead of bolting this leg down tight, as you can see, now it swings freely. And that's how you get the legs on. It's very simple, elegant design.